Okay, great. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, run Darken in IntelliJ in Java. The process is similar in Eclipse and other IDEs, but this is the one I am familiar with. I am going to show you how to put together the cache and the world server. So to see the instructions, uh, there is the Darken world server and you will see the requirements here. Uh, you're going to have to install Git, um, depending on what you're on, Linux, Mac, or Windows. Um, it's a different process, but you're going to have to find a different video for that. You're going to need uh, JDK 17, uh, MongoDB, and since you're using IntelliJ, IntelliJ has Gradle built in. So, first of all, uh, the idea would be to make a... Um, folder let's delete this a folder where you will put uh, darken into uh, once you have this folder uh, open up a command prompt with that um, hold on with that directory open now if you were to go down the instructions it tells you to clone two different repositories so um, for yourself, what you want to do is uh, fork this uh, world server into your own repository. So you click fork and you should get uh, a separate repository um, like this one. Okay, so when you have your own repository, it's going to have its own default branch and it's, it, it should work out of the box. So hit code, there's HTTPS, copy and type in git clone and the repository. So um, for the world server you're going to need the cache and the server itself. Um, to run server uh, things you need the cache um, to run those operations in the server. So next up we're going to git clone the cache itself. Now this doesn't work right now. Uh, we'll probably change that later. Uh, you have to go to your the actual cache um, repository, copy this HTTPS right git, and place it in here. So you would do something like git clone and then paste it. Okay. So now when you do that, you should uh, begin to have the cache and the darkened world server. However, when you are downloading the cache, I believe it's one gigabyte and you're doing it through command prompt. So that's going to take however long that takes and you're just going to have to leave it there. Even though it says that it's 100% done, it's not. Wait until it actually shows um, the path like this one. Okay, so uh, now that you are getting the world server downloaded and the cache downloaded, the next thing we're going to need is the uh, database. So the database is going to be storing all of the accounts and all of the players and uh, high scores and uh, grand exchange. So um, yeah, let's download MongoDB. Install MongoDB. Let's do community edition on Windows. It'll be different when you do it on um, other uh, operating systems but here we go install on Windows let's find how to do this um, now this is taking a little bit to load install using that yes and let's scroll down download center it's gonna be different depending on how this website is laid out but you basically want to install uh, MongoDB and I'm gonna show you it in uh, sort of uh, real time so um, and see the path showed for the cache and it's done so let's install um, Mongo when you install Mongo it's going to include uh, Mongo compass which is how you can read the Mongo database with the GUI um, Let's do complete. And 
install MongoD as a service. It's going to start up um, when you start Windows. That's all that means. Next, uh, install MongoDB Compass. I would say yes to that and install. So this is going to take a little bit. Um, let's wait. Okay, while this is loading, let's um, start up the IntelliJ uh, project. So, uh, first of all, open up IntelliJ. Oh, it finished. Okay. Um, now, uh, Mongo database compass is being installed. So, there you go. Let's uh, open up IntelliJ. If it could start. We don't need this command prompt anymore. Okay, now uh, when you open up IntelliJ, let's see if I can make it to where, here we go. So um, you're going to want to be in this prompt or in the other one that I was in. In the previous one, you just do file open and you do the exact same thing I'm about to do. Or when you're in here, um, this front page thing, uh, hit open right here at the top right and uh, let's head to the folder where you had cloned the repositories. I cloned it in users, my name, and let's see, um, I believe it was games, games, and I did it in darkened world server, so there you go. So you open the uh, world server, and um, it starts the Gradle daemon. Now, uh, there are a few things that need to be changed uh, right out of the box. So first of all, after you've installed JDK um, 17, you need to go to File, see, let's go back, File, Project Structure, Make sure the project SDK is on 17 or whichever is on the README in the front of, um, so right here, it says JDK 17. In the future, in four years, it'll probably be the next one. But for now, for a while, we're gonna be on 17. Go to modules, go to dependencies, make sure it's on 17, apply, okay. Um, also, when you go to settings, uh, make sure when you go to um, build execution deployment in the settings. This is the settings for the actual IDE and we're going to build tools. Okay, Gradle. Make sure this Gradle JVM is actually on 17 and I prefer to use IntelliJ Gradle so use change it to this one because it's a higher performance it says right here faster and also for some reason it has less errors so just apply okay now uh, when you open the uh, default uh, localhost mongo database so by default it's on localhost and it's on this port 27017 and you should be able to connect to it um, it's running in the background as a service um, so this, I'm surprised, did it run or something? Um, let's delete this because 
Let's delete Dark and Server. That shouldn't be there. Uh, drop Darken Server. Drop database. Okay, let's pretend this is completely empty. Okay. Um, oh, this is my previous. Okay, this is my previous database. All right. So um, let's pretend this is empty. Let's disconnect. This is a brand new Mongo database, okay? This is what you have to imagine. And you just did all the steps that I just mentioned. You went to project structure. You did the 17 here. You went to uh, 17 here. And you uh, went to the uh, build execution deployment to build tools to Gradle. And you went to 17 and IntelliJ IDEA. You did all that. Now, go to um, the actual folder source main java com.rs all the way down to launcher right click it and run now out of the box it should work uh, because you already have mongodb installed and um, it should be optimized to just work out of the box but i believe there's going to be some common issues um, the first one uh, you have to port forward so let's see it worked for me but there are two things that you're gonna need to do on top of this in order to get this to work uh, let's just refresh reload from disk it should produce worldconfig.json and so number one change the uh, world info the number to one that's not being used so that would be something like 97 96 whatever it is um, the IP address should be um, whatever your IP is what is my IP and highlight that and put that here um, and also you need to uh, port forward let's move this back over here you need to port forward your um, router. So if you're a, in a home router, um, it's going to be a different process per uh, actual router operating system. Let me show you what it looks like for me. So uh, hopefully I'm not messing myself up by showing you guys this, but this is what it looks like on my router. Uh, you just go to the port and you update the IP address and forward this port you need to find a um, actual uh, YouTube video to tell you how to do that once you forward uh, I would forward like 90 to 600 just to be safe but you could do a smaller I'm just saying that because that's what I do um, not good to say that but that's what I did so um, then um, run the uh, Darken client, however it is that you have it. Um, go down to development here and hit play. Now with this new uh, IP address, it's going to show up here with the world. Uh, I'm going to call this uh, YouTube world. Okay. And let's uh, rerun this. Okay. Um, I made a video on how to create an account. So first of all, create an account um, so that you can log in. Okay. Um, let's see. YouTube world. So you go to your development world. And each of these are different people's development worlds making uh, things in the game, basically. Uh, go into play and um, oh so this happens sometimes um, it ten the lobby has one bug where it keeps you uh, logged in for like half a second and then it kicks you it only happens the first few times you ever play so mail um, okay confirm uh, I do not want to be an Iron Man yes create my account let's talk to Skippy and go to Lumbridge okay oh whoops that's not part of the game um, okay so we're in 
I believe we need to elevate this player to uh, a mod. Might make a video on that, but this is how you get it running from the um, actual code source. You installed MongoDB, you got it in IntelliJ, you got it running in the client. There you go, you are good to go.